Hello, my students. How are you? Today, we're going to be talking about equivalent fractions. What are equivalent fractions? Equivalent means equal. When fractions are equivalent, they take up the same part of the same size holes. For example, the fractions that we see in these two motors, they are equivalent. Let's see why. But first, let's review what we know about fractions. This is a whole pizza. We can cut the pizza in many slices, like the first one, it was cut in four slices, and the second one, it was cut in eight slices. As you know, each of these slices represent a unit fraction, and also we can write fractions using this partition. For example, if we eat this slice of pizza, we can write a fraction of the pizza that we ate. If we ate one slice of this pizza, we have to focus on how many slices was the pizza cut. It was four. So four is my denominator. And then my numerator is how many slices of pizza did we eat. And it was one, so one of the pizza is my fraction. Now let's continue. We're going to know what are some fractions that are equal to one half. These two friends want to share a pizza. Each of them are going to get one half of the pizza. But when we look at the pizzas, we notice that they are cut into four equal slices. So each half of the pizza is cut into four equal slices. Then we notice that these four equal slices becomes in half of the pizza. One half of the pizza is the same as four eighths of the pizza. Oh, they are equivalent fractions. One half is equivalent to four eighths because they take up the same amount of the pizza. Are these equivalent fractions? Do they take up the same amount? Yes, they are equivalent fractions. One half is equivalent to five tenths, four eighths, and also two fourths. All these fractions are equivalent fractions because they take up the same amount in the fraction circle. Are these equivalent fractions? 4 eighths is equivalent to 1 fourth. Do you see that they represent the same amount? Do you see that they take up the same amount in these motors? No, very good. They are not equivalent fractions. We're missing this space, this space, so that they can be equivalent fractions. Very good. When we compare fractions using motors, we must use the same size and motor shapes. For example, are these two motors representing equivalent fractions? Do these motors have the same shape? Very good, correct. They cannot represent equivalent fractions because they have not the same shape. Let's take a look at these two motors. We have one small and one big, small circle and big circle. Do they represent equivalent fractions? Can we use them to represent equivalent fractions? No, very good job, guys. They cannot represent equivalent fractions because they are not the same size. How can I change the motor to show equivalent fractions? As you can see, the two motors are the same, so they represent the same fractions. But we want to change the motor to represent different fractions with different numbers, but the same value. In the first motor, we have four equal parts, so my denominator is four, and then I have three parts that are shaded, so my numerator is three. And then let's look at the second motor. 
What changes can we do on the second motor so that we can keep the same value of this shaded part and get another fraction? Very good! We can partition this motor and now we're going to have eight equal parts in all. So eight will be my denominator. And how many shaded parts do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, six shaded parts. So my numerator is six. My fraction is six eighths. So three fourths and six eighths are equivalent fractions. Okay, now we're going to draw motors to represent these two fractions and to know if they are equivalent fractions. One fourth, four is my denominator, so I need to do four equal parts, and one is my numerator, so only one part will be shaded. This is my fraction to represent one fourth, and here we have the other fraction to represent two fourths. And as you can see, these are not equivalent fractions because they don't take up the same amount in the fraction circle. Here we have these two fractions, 3 fifths and 6 tenths. The first fraction, here we have the motor, 3 fifths. And the second fraction, here we have the motor, 6 tenths. Let's see if these two fractions are equivalent. Yes! Very good! As you can see, these two motors have the same amount shaded. So they represent the same value. That's why they are equivalent fractions. Well, we have reached the end of this video. Remember, if it works for you, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye! Have fun with math!